Hey guys, what's going on? It's Tyler from Nelly Security, and today I'm going to show you how you can get your Alarm.com security camera feeds sent directly to your Qolsys IQ panel. Let's take a look. So to do this, we are going to log into our client portal here at Alarm.com, and we are going to click on Settings, and we're going to go into manage devices. Now from here at the bottom, you will see a list of all of your alarm.com video devices. I'm just going to click these three dots on the right and click device settings. From here, I'm going to go into a couple of these menus. First, I'm going to hop into the stream video to security panel screen. And all I'm going to do in here is ensure that this view at the panel checkbox is checked. If that's not checked, go ahead and check it and click save. What that's going to do is allow us to stream our security camera footage directly to our IQ panel four or your IQ panel two plus. Since the camera that I'm using in this demonstration is a video doorbell, there are a couple of additional settings I can tweak. To do that, I'm going to go into video device info. And from here, I can scroll down to find this option, send button pushed notifications to panel and send motion notifications to panel. If you have this selected, you will be able to get doorbell notifications on your panel and you'll be able to answer your door uh, straight from your alarm panel as well. I like having this because we don't have an actual doorbell inside our house. So this makes it super easy to always know when somebody is at our door. If you'd like, you can also send motion notifications to the panel. What this is gonna do is send a similar notification to your IQ panel that will alert you anytime your doorbell senses motion on your porch. Personally, I'm not a fan of this option. It kind of annoys me, so I leave this turned off. And that's really all there is to setting this up on the client end. Now let's log into our dealer portal and see the same settings from a dealer's perspective. I'm just going to uh, search for my customer here, which is me. Tyler Martin, search, and here I am. I'm going to click into my account and click equipment. At the top here, we see these different options. Uh, I'm going to click on video devices. If you had more than one camera, you could click this drop down here to select which camera you want to uh, configure. All you have to do is scroll down on this page and you'll find those same options here. We have send button push notifications to panel. You can also toggle the send motion notifications to panel by clicking here. All right, and that's all you need to do. Everything else is done by the customer. Actually enabling the live stream from the camera to the panel happens from the client menu. Now, if your customer has an IQ remote and they want to be able to view their alarm.com security feeds on the remote, there is one additional step that you'll need to check. Uh, this is usually on by default, but if they're having issues, you'll know where to check. So come in here, instead of video devices, we're going to go to panel. We are going to scroll all the way down to this box that says command catalog, and we are going to twirl down this general menu. Under general, we will find this option, stream live video to IQ remote, and click that, make sure it's enabled, and you're good to go. All right, now that I have that set up, let's go ahead and swipe right until we find the camera screen. And there we go. We have our live video cameras with the doorbell right here. If I did have additional alarm.com security cameras, they would all appear in this list and I could choose uh, between the available options. Right now, all we have is the doorbell. So I can click on the doorbell. I can click this play button and it's going to connect directly to that doorbell camera. From there, I can see exactly what's happening at my front door in real time. I can adjust the volume if I need to. I can also take additional actions, such as locking the door directly from this screen. So right now it's locked. I can go ahead and unlock it. Front door unlocked. You can hear it uh, unlocking itself there. I can also initiate a two-way call right here by pushing this green microphone button. Obviously this is a doorbell, so it does have the additional function of being able to answer doorbell calls from the panel. Hey kids, I need a volunteer. Who wants to ring a doorbell? Me. All right, come on. I want to ring the doorbell. Okay, go on, Cohen. Bramble, get back. Oh, I see a package. Oh, we got a package, cool. Here. Thank you. Cohen, you want to go ring the doorbell with Sissy? 
All right, hold on, wait, wait till I tell you, hold on. The doorbell's ringing and I can answer it right from the, uh, right from the panel. Hey kids, what's up? Hey, hey, Edie, Edie, Edie. Edlin, get back up here, where are you going? Come on, Cohen, get back in the house. Bramble. And that's how easy it is to get your alarm.com security camera feeds directly on your IQ panel 4. Again, for the IQ panel, this is only going to work with alarm.com video cameras. You can't pull in RTSP feeds or OnVIF feeds for third-party cameras at this time. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, be sure to give it a like, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and follow us across social media for more security tech tips, tutorials, and reviews. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.